Hi, I'm Jim Cunningham. I'm here with Laura Schaefer from Emerson. Laura, in your particular corner of the Emerson universe, what's the biggest challenge your customers are facing? Well, Jim, our customers at refineries and petrochemical plants uh, often use sampling conditioning cabinets like this one to prepare samples for analysis uh, by online gas chromatography. And what we find talking with those customers is that oftentimes they're getting inaccurate results out of the gas chromatograph. Mm. Those inaccurate results can cause a significant amount of wasted time and money as they try to troubleshoot and figure out the source of that, that issue. Well, let's talk about this. So what, what's causing those inaccurate results? Well, this is a gas chromatograph, Jim, and a gas chromatograph is designed to analyze gas. It's a highly accurate but sensitive instrument. And what happens is in the sampling conditioning system, not enough heat is delivered to fully vaporize the sample. Okay. So what happens is your heavy components in the gas, they condense out. That leads to your gas sample being inaccurate or in, not representative of what's going through your process line. And it also leaves liquid in the line and the liquid can contaminate the, the gas chromatograph. All of that results in those inaccurate results, costing time and, and money. Sure. So what's new about this offering? Well, what's new, and we're really excited about this, Jim, is that we're introducing the Tescom 446800 vaporizing regulator. This is the component that delivers the heat to ensure that you have a single phase going to your gas chromatograph every time. What's new isn't the heating technology itself. We're still maximizing the surface area and contact time of that sample to ensure it has the heat it needs. But what's new is how we control temperature. Every model comes with a PID controller so that user can set the temperature anywhere between 50 to 400 degrees Celsius to make sure that even if the process changes over time, you still have exactly the amount of heat that you need available out of that vaporizing regulator. That's great. Yeah, we're really excited about that. That's a game changer, isn't it? Yeah, it's completely different. See, older models required the engineers to calculate exactly what wattage to install. Now, to calculate a wattage, you need to use theoretical uh, heat transfer calculations and assumptions, and it assumes that you know exactly what that sample is going through your, your process line, right? right? Well, we don't always know that, and sometimes it changes over time. So calculating that wattage was very challenging for our customers. This takes all of that guesswork away because one unit can deliver the right heat every time. That's all great. Are there any other challenges that this new product addresses? Yeah, there are. Um, so this sampling cabinet often is heated. And when the heat re required is greater than what the transmitter over there, what that can tolerate, what happens is that you have to separate the regulator and the transmitter. And what's not very well known in the industry is when you do that, you um, negate all the hazardous area certifications that that product has. Oh. What's new is the Tescom 446800 vaporizing regulator now can be delivered as a two-piece assembly that, where both components have full HASLOC certifications. It gives a lot of flexibility to the designers of the cabinet and to the end users so you can not only put the transmitter outside, but also shrink the size of the cabinet you don't need as much material. You can fit it in a smaller space. Really convenient for a lot of facilities. The other thing that that allows is now the transmitter can always sit outside the cabinet, allowing operators and technicians who walk by to see that the vaporizing regulator is delivering the temperature that it needs to without opening the cabinet. Transmitter also offers a four to 20 milliamp that you can run back to your DCS system and see from your control room, so you've got remote visibility into exactly what's happening in your sample conditioning cabinet. Wow. Really great. Now, one other thing that we've added around um, the safety side of things is we've added a thermal cutoff. And with a the thermal cutoff, that secondary thermal cutoff, if there's any thermal event, 
it'll shut down power to that vaporizing regulator, ensuring safety for all. That's fantastic. Where can people find out more information, Laura? Well, they can find out more at emerson.com slash Tescom. Thank you.